Hello guys, this is Zach, back with the part 3 video for our Python AES uh, Tkinter application for encryption. And uh, in this video we're going to wrap this uh, tutorial up. So, in our previous video, we wrote our encrypt file, decrypt file, and load file functions. So, uh, pretty much all we have to do now is write a couple more functions to uh, help with the the whole control for our actual GUI application and then create our window and the buttons that are going to be in it and then we all just have to test it you know so uh, let's get started so our next function that we need to write is encrypt the file and the other one is decrypt the file now you may ask now why do I need these two functions if we already have an encrypt file and decrypt file function well those two functions take parameters and our uh, in in our tkinter application we're making three buttons and their command um, parameter here is what happens when you click the button now if you remember for the command uh, parameter here we can't we actually give the name of a function but we do not put parentheses and since that is the case we can't have any arguments in the function that runs when we click those buttons therefore we need to write two more functions that uh, actually call the encrypt file function and decrypt file function that we created and in a way this is sort of good because this can control uh, to check if the file name uh, exists here or not and so on and so forth and if it doesn't, then we can always show an error and say, hey, you didn't select a file to encrypt or decrypt. So, we're going to go ahead and get started on this. def encrypt the file. No parameters. Now, we need to tell Python that we're going to be using the global file name and key um, variables. Now we're going to, to check if file name is uh, is not equal to none. So if a file has been selected and our global file name is uh, set to something, then we need to do f name equals file name plus dot enc. So this is just a temporary kind of variable, and we do not have to make this here, but it, it kind of makes it a little bit more readable, which is good for programming. So f name equals file name uh, plus dot enc. So this is our extension. Now we're going to say uh, we're going to actually call our encrypt file uh, function, and it takes two parameters uh, or two arguments: file name key. So our file name is going to be f name. And the key is going to be our global variable key. Now, that's if the file name was, uh, or if the file had been selected. Now we're going to write an else statement to say if the file name was not selected, and we're going to display an error here. Uh, so, if you'll see this line, this is from the message box. Uh, our message box TK message box which this uh, this actually yeah that okay so the message box function here or message box kind of object here dot show error this is going to um, actually just pop up a little window that's like an error and it has a variety of choices for um, for what you can sort of show, like the ones that just say uh, you can change the title of it to error and that kind of thing. Uh, but there's show error, there's like ask, uh, yes, no, uh, things like that. So you can have different little pop-up windows. In the the actual message box here, I believe, is actually inside the just uh, plain tkinter module. So it's actually not from our tk message box, but um, our tk message box came in. Uh, I think it comes in later, but um, anyway, so show error title equals, I'm just going to say error, 
comma message equals there was no file loaded to encrypt. So this is just what you want to show your user to tell them that they need to select a file. And that is our encrypt the file function. Now we're going to write a decrypt the file function. And once again we need our global file name and key. Once again we're going to say if file name is not equal to none if name equals file name this time we need to say colon uh, minus four so this is uh, or actually no we don't need to do that we need to say if, uh, if name equals file name plus dot uh, enc okay never mind okay this is what we need to do but I got it backwards on the last one we do not need that the reason we don't need those in uh, these is because we put the slicing and the dot enc in our encrypt and decrypt file functions so we don't have to do it twice otherwise it's going to give us a lot of uh, weird looking file names <laughs> so we can go ahead and get rid of that also okay so in our encrypt file here all we need to do is call encrypt file on a file name using the key there. Alright, so on our decrypt function if you look we actually uh, actually do do the f name equals file name plus dot enc because, um, because we do need to pass that in for it to do the slicing. Now if you wanted you could take out the plus dot enc and then take out the slicing bit in the decrypt file and it should run properly but uh, just for the sake of time, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and keep it in mind. So, f name equals file name plus dot enz. Now, we're going to call the decrypt file function. We're going to pass in f name and key. Now we need to say else. Um, and we're going to show an, another error. And it's going to be the exact same thing, except we're going to say uh, there was no file loaded to decrypt. So, do that. Change the word encrypt to decrypt. And there we go. There's our decrypt the file function. Let's go ahead and save that. All right. So now we're done writing all of our functions, and all we have to do is create the uh, the main program, the window, and all of that good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to first make some space, make a variable for our main window, and I'm going to call it uh, root. So root equals uh, we didn't use, we didn't import everything from tkinter, so we're going to have to put the module name before all this but that's okay in this case because we don't have that many objects so root equals tkinter dot tk and then uh, afterwards if you want to set the title of it you can if not that's that's fine also so root dot title open parentheses uh, crypto file that sounds like a good title um, alright so now we need to create three buttons one for load text file, one for encrypt text file, and one for decrypt text file. Or just encrypt file and decrypt file if you want. Okay, so first we're going to make our load uh, text file button. We're going to call it load uh, button equals decanter dot button. And the place we want to put this button is in the root window. So root comma and we need to say text equals and then the text we want inside the button is load text file uh, oops not done yet then command equals uh, load file All right now we can create the uh, encrypt button encrypt button equals tkinter dot button root 
text equals encrypt file command equals encrypt the file then the same with the decrypt button text equals decrypt file command equals decrypt the file and now we need to call the pack function to actually display these so and the order does matter so load button dot pack encrypt button dot pack and lastly decrypt button dot pack now we need to call the root dot main loop function uh, because in to uh, tkinter whenever you create a GUI application like that you always have to call your main loop function to keep running the program until the user clicks the red X or uh, what have you in the uh, thing so now uh, we can actually save this and build it alright so this is what we have it's a very tiny window because we didn't control any size and if you do want to control size right under your root dot title say root dot uh, min size open parentheses width equals uh, we'll say uh, 200 height equals 200 and I'm being pretty uh, pretty liberal here with the size and then if you don't want the user to be able to, to control how big it is you can do a max size for the exact same height and width so let's save that and build and this time it's a little bit bigger now to actually show you this uh, to actually show you this in action I'm going to go on to my desktop here or actually I'm going to uh, open text edit here and I'm going to make a file and I'll say super actually I'll give it a couple spaces super secret file we're going to save it uh, onto the desktop and I'll save it as secret uh, okay so secret there we go now if we open up our secret text file it just says super secret file okay now in our crypto file application we're gonna hit load text file go to our desktop oh, okay we didn't add the um, we didn't add the extension so save well delete that I'm going to save it as secret.txt oops, 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 oops okay text edits not really liking me today okay super secret stuff save it to desktop secret.txt and um, okay, let me check that. That way, I don't have to put my extension on there. So, secret dot text. Okay, so now we have that there. If we open it up, it'll just say super secret stuff. So, load text file on our desktop. Secret dot text. Now we're going to hit encrypt file, and it creates a, another file on your desktop. Now, if you open that it's all this weird looking uh, characters so this is actually your encryption now if you open your original text file it still says your text so you need to control a or command a uh, delete that and then save it so now that's just an empty text file and alternatively if you would like you can delete that and then whenever you go to encrypt this just create a blank text file with the um, the first part of the name your secret dot text all right so now uh, we still have that file that file name loaded so we don't have to click load text file again but say you were to close this out and then go um, 
later, like say, whenever you forget a password, then you would have to load text file again. So I'll go ahead and show you that. So load text file, and when you go to decrypt it, you're just going to click your original text file, not your uh, encrypted one. So do that, then hit decrypt file, and then open up your original text file, and it should put your original text back in there. And after you get done looking at your secret information, just control A or command A, delete, save, close. There you go. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this, uh, this three-part sort of tutorial. And I look forward to making some more cool videos like this. I know there's not a whole lot out there on the uh, Pi Crypto module because i um, well, there, there really isn't a whole lot of examples for AES encryption, or any, for that matter, for uh, Python. So, I hope this video really helped you guys, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Be sure to click the like.